Hi everyone, it's Jenny here from Angel Handmade Papercraft. Today I am working with Whimsy Stamps and I have a stamp called Breeze to share with you. She is one of their digital collection from the February release. I have printed her onto some Expressit blending card using my brother laser printer. Uh, the reason for that is because I am colouring with Copic markers. So I'm going to work my way through. I always lay down the, the lightest colour first and then I go darkest to lightest. If need be, then I can go back and add a little darkness in if, it, if it's required, which it usually isn't. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to slowly work my way through all of the skin and hope that you guys are enjoying the colouring. Please, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. Um, and I would love for you to like this video at the end if you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or suggestions for other videos, you can also pop those into the comments. So I'm now working my way through into her clothing. Um, I will have all of the Copic markers listed on my blog, so you can go and check out those there. I will have that listed at the bottom of the YouTube video as well in the description box. So now working on her little shoes, blending them out, making sure I've got a nice good blend. Adding on some at you speaker just to make those shoes all glittery and sparkly. And now I'm going to go through and work on the hair. So I am using a few brown markers on her hair. Just working my way through with just with a quick flicking motion. Sometimes I'll lay down the lightest colour just depending on how I'm feeling as to whether I do the lightest colour and then go darkest to lightest. Um, in this case, I just went uh, darkest to lightest. So now going in and colouring in her little puppy dog. Using some brown markers on him as well. Adding on some At You sticker. Sorry, some uh, white uni ball gel pen is what I added. I don't know where I got that from. Adding on some grass to ground her and her puppy. And lastly, colouring in her kite. So I did have a paper pad in mind of what I was looking at um, as to the colours that I had chosen. I just wanted something that was nice and bright and colourful. So just working my way through. Alright, so I've grabbed some MFT stamps, um, Puppy Cloud Stars, and I'm just using some of this gorgeous yellow uh, sun paper that was in the paper pad that I have used. Um, the paper pad is the da, 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 American Crafts hashtag summer and I just used some um, some tape to uh, keep the dies in place. I didn't want them to move. I didn't have a lot of this paper left. So I'm now just using my Scotch ATG gun to pop a little tiny bit of adhesive on the back of those clouds just so I could work out where I was going to put them and then I've just I may lightly put them down on some of them just so I'm still able to move them around. So I'm just cutting out this stay cool sentiment off the paper pad. Oh, sorry, I'm ahead of myself. Uh, first, I cut out the little bike and then I'm going to cut the little stay cool sentiment. So this is where all the brightness is coming in now. And I'm just using my, um, my pen blade. This is the number 10 and I'm just cutting the side of the kite so that I can slide those clouds behind. And I'm also cutting the left hand side of her hair so that I can slide the sentiment under her hair. So now I'm trying to work out all of my placement now where I'm going to pop everything and slowly starting to accue everything down. I decided to add some um, banners to those pieces of paper that I had cut down. So I'm just using my EK Success cut a bee scissors to add the banners to the bottom of them. Alright, so using my Scotch ATG, just cutting off the edges there, anything that's going to hang over. And then I'm going to pop my image on. And I decided it needed something else behind that little bike banner, so I added some more of that, um, so like a coral kind of colour, and I just added that behind the other one. Just cut off the edges. And I'm now adding it to a Kucha Creations card base and using my bone folder just to make sure it's nice and smooth. And that's my video done for today. So I thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all soon. Bye.